guys, I'm out here on a mighty Ohio River. It's 30 degrees and it's windy. I'm gonna build a little fire, fishing kind of a eddy type of backwater kind of area. I guess eddy, there's some slack water. And uh, there's not a lot of current, so I'm hoping some of them fish will come out of the hard water because we did have about a, mm, about a four foot rise in a day. So I'm just hoping that didn't scare them to death, and I'm hoping that they're feeding. I just put some skipjack out and a shad, so, and, uh, let's see, two pole tides got him a couple chunks of skipjack out. We're going to build us a fire, hang out, and see if we can catch us a couple blue cats today. Hang tight. Be back. We're coming in with it. Is it? Let's see, let go. This is slack water, they get weird in it. It's still there. I want a feeling full. I think he's got it though. Self wrapped up a little bit. It's a little slow go this morning. Finally, major difference in that weather. Major, major difference in the Water depth too, three foot rise. degrees <laughs> thank god we got a fish we got a fire so I was just getting ready to open up a coffee he must have known about that coffee I didn't get skunk go sensey fish on let's let her go back where she belongs Head on her. Take that.
he's in something. Found him a root. All right, I'm gonna change spots. We're gonna go hit this seam back in this uh, area where there's two different structures, so it kind of creates a little bit of a backwater. So hopefully we got enough bank space to fish it. Be back soon. All right, I changed spots. I'm down here fishing this seam type of an area. It's a little bit of an eddy. Got a big giant structure on the right side and I have a, some sunken barges over on the left side, which creates kind of a, it creates like an eddy and some seams here, some spins. And uh, it looks like a dam pretty much of wood just broke loose. So it's all in my lines right now. I'm gonna have to fight that. So let me fix that and uh, let's see if we can get us a fish. Yeah. I got that big ass stuff on that right there. Whoa, that's a fish. Yep, look at there. Look at there, buddy. <laughs> Come on, stay there. Come on, stay on there. Come on. Got him? Got him. Woo! All right. That didn't take long. That is about one minute flat. It's all in the theory sometimes. All in that little theory, man. All about the theory. <laughs> you gotta go test the waters and find out if your theory's right or not. I still got a ton of crap stuck on my line. I just shut the camera off so I could get the crap off my line, restart it all. Oh, he's stuck on something. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, buddy. Come on out of there. There he is. A little tree right there. Come here, little fella. Woo wee. Take that. Take that little kitten. Take that kitten on a cold November day. <laughs> All right. There we go. Ten knot trophy cat in the corner of that mouth. Perfect. That's an 80 pound fish. That camera don't do that fish no justice. That's 80 all day. <laughs> That's just kidding. That's a good fish though. Playing around out here on the Ohio River just trying to find a place to get in and something that might actually work. So theories are working. River Lunacy letting her go. Me. The theories seem to work today. Uh, the theories are slack water and fishing seams while this river's coming up, and that's what I'm doing. Unfortunately, right now, I'm getting beat to death by, uh, oh, debris out there, so I'm tired of losing my sinkers. Uh, everything was caught on skipjack today. I did have shad. They didn't seem to want it. I guess the uh, magical... Um, degree of water temperature is not there yet for shad today anyway we'll say that but um i'm not fishing a mile out you know i'm fishing some structure i'm fishing like an eddy kind of areas and i'm fishing seams that's all day today two different spots i don't have everything on camera i did lose a big fish he went right in a snag and broke me off in there and then i lost another fish that went in another snag so 
We did hook up fish when I did find them, and the theories work. Thanks for watching. I'm at home getting ready to put some heavy clothing on. It's uh, 38 degrees out there, actually 37 when I dropped my daughter off for school. So we got a little uh, delay. That's okay. That's life. Um, I'm going to have a peanut butter and wheat bread breakfast this morning. Uh, of course, we're going to have a coffee. We're going to have some on that cold river today too. 10 to 15 mile an hour winds today. It's another part of the theory type fishing. We have a dropping river today. And that's my least favorite kind of river to fish. It's uh, usually, my theory on that is fishing structure. Fish grab structure, makes them feel safe. That's my idea. I don't really know what yours is, but that's usually how I catch them, is on structure. So I'm going to kind of be in between structure today. To the left of me, there's going to be a sunken barge. Actually, there's about three of them underwater. So that's going to create a little rip that runs out a little ways, maybe 60 yard cast, if that. It's, it's not a real far cast to hit the seam, but it makes that water loop back, all right? And I think another reason why it loops back from that seam or current break, whatever you want to call it, is because over to the right of me is another big structure down in the water, a concrete structure. So I'm going to have some baits run on down to the right, and they're going to be at the front of that. So the idea is... The bait that's on the concrete structure is going to call some out that are around it on the side, on the front side, on the deep side, which I'm not going to be able to fish because the current's going to be tremendous. So I'm going to fish that front of that. They're probably going to be a couple in the front of that, right where my bait pushes up against it. There's a little bit of wood down in there. So there's always that chance of catching a flathead today also. I don't really think our water temperature is below 50. Um, this is really fall still. It's uh, November 16th, I believe. It's Wednesday. And um, so I'm gonna have one up against that. I'm gonna have two others in between. I'm gonna try to get one out and keep it on that seam a little bit. And then I'm going to have one inward a little bit, about halfway from the bank to the seam. That way I can catch some that are moving back and forth. Uh, that's the theory. This is another part of the theory. That's what we're going to do. Theory fishing. That dog right there. He's just rubbing down. He don't care about the theory. He just wants me to bring a fish back so he can lick it. It's pretty noisy, ain't he? He just wants to be in the video. Let's finish this sandwich. We got to get some heavy clothes on and get out there in this fall winter weather. Cincinnati, Ohio. Go Cincy. Rain, ice, and snow coming down. All we can do is go, right? I'm going to put an umbrella over top of this camera. We're going to see if we can catch us a couple blue cats today. Got fresh skipjack sitting there. I'm going to go chop this up and put it out there in the water. Put two right behind me. I'm going to walk one up a little bit with an 8 ounce. Try to keep it put. It's going to be on the back side of that sunken barge I was talking about. There's going to be a seam there. Hoping the water's going to be a little calmer up there. Behind me, well, that's a different story. Looks like the current's moving a lot harder than it was the other day. I don't quite have that whirlpool effect that I seen the other day, but there's still a seam and uh, I'm hoping it's going to hold some. We're just going to use five ounce air. Let's chop some bait up and get in the water, find out what's going on here. Got a barge and a coffee at the same time. That's double trouble. That's what you call big trouble in Little China on the Ohio River. Pour this before it gets here. It'll either snag everything up or a rod's gonna go down. He's close on this side too.
Big old waves coming. Goodness. <laughs> it don't know if it wants to snow. It don't know if it wants to rain. So long for my 20%. Got a biter. Hold it. There he goes. There he goes. Come on, baby. Go down harder. Come on. Show us what you got. There he is. There he is. Oh. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. I got a lot of crap in front of me on the bottom of the river I have been snagging up. Hopefully, hopefully this guy will swim over it for us. I'm not much of a fan of horse and fish, but after losing several the last couple days, whoo! Here he comes. What is that? Old muddy river blue cat. Muddy River Blue Cat action. I'll tell you what, I'm tired of losing my thumbs. I don't have much of a print left. <laughs> I'm gonna put these grips on this guy. Got me a little rod holder here. Nice of the uh, trashy people to throw their garbage in our river. Take it. I'll take it. I'll take that on a snowy ice. Not even winter day. Here we go. First fish, river lunacy. I had one earlier. Bossed this one. Put it right in a snag immediately while I was putting my other rod away in the water. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick picture of this little guy and throw him back in the river where she belongs. We'll be back. All right, I got to move. I haven't really had much action here. I did get one. Um, I had another one pull down, and while I was putting a rod out, and uh, he came in and got me snagged up. And then I had another one bend down. He just act a little finicky started to go and then he got scared and let off he never came back so my next theory is going to be we're going to go right in the structure i'm going to be right in it there's going to be trees and there's sunken barges out there and we're going to have to pray that we can pull that fish out with this 40 pound test mono because it's real notorious for me to break off on monster fish there but let's go see if big mom was home This was acting a little weird, and I pulled up on it. It was moving around, looked like it was swimming around. They got me in some stuff. Looks like it got me in a lot of stuff. 
I don't think he's going to amount to much, but on a rough fishing day, you can't cry too much, right? It's got whiskers. Oh no. And he snagged up right in front of me. You believe that? another part of my theory working. I moved. Now I'm fishing in some structure. A lot of it. It's not the fish I'm looking for. Fish are holding on the structure when that water's falling also. Seem to do better like that. So that's just a little channel, but that's all right. He was poking around, got it in some stuff on me. Fishing a bunch of barges right here that are sunken. And uh Fish tend to grab a hold of structure, I've noticed, when the water's falling down. So, it's just another piece of that theory that I've been going with here. They're my theories, they're my opinions. Everybody's got one, that's mine. If yours works, please leave it in the comments. We'll try it sometime also. Today was the Falling River. The video before this, or the first part of the video, was the rising part. The River Lunacy out. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave all the comments you want. Get right back to you.